Welcome back my fellow artists. It's Elizabeth from SVS Redondo Beach and today we're going to be working on a paint and pour activity, Wave Edition. These are the materials you will be using. Three empty salsa containers, three popsicle sticks, three paints in the colors Bahama Blue, Navy Blue, and White. You're also going to need a bag of gold glitter, some napkins, a medium mixture, which is pretty much four ounces of glue and four ounces of water, an aluminum tray, and a canvas. Step one, you're gonna go ahead and grab your paint container, open it up, and pour it into your empty salsa container. Don't forget to make sure you get as much as the paint as possible. Once I feel that most of my paint is out, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process with the other paints. Step two, I'm going to go ahead and grab my medium, open it up, and I'm going to squeeze the squeeze bottle inside of the container until we reach the top of the container, just like so. And I'm going to repeat the same process with the remaining two paints. Step three, once all of my paint containers have the medium inside, I'm gonna grab one popsicle stick for each of my containers and I'm gonna start mixing it together. This may take some time, but go ahead and keep mixing until you reach a good consistency. Now that my medium is mixed in with my paint, it's time for step four. Glitter time! We're gonna go ahead and grab our bag of glitter, which is really cool because it's gonna represent our sand. We're gonna open it up and pour it into each of your containers. Just enough to get a good layer on top. Just like so. Step five. Let's go ahead and remove those popsicle sticks and place them on the side. And now it's pouring time. Let's go ahead and start off with our navy blue. So grab the container and you're gonna wanna start on the top left corner and you just start pouring. I'm creating a zigzag effect. Make sure your paint is spread out throughout the canvas. Next, I'm gonna move on to white. I know the white may be a little bit hard to see right now, but once we start mixing all of this together, it should pop out more. And let's not forget about that Bahama blue. We're gonna go ahead and pour. Step six. Now that my canvas is covered with paint, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt. So grab, carefully grab the two sides of your aluminum tray and you're gonna wanna start tilting. Just like this. Make sure you're spreading that paint around. And it should start to represent a wave. If you have any leftover sand, go ahead and add it right now, just to cover the top of your canvas. Go ahead and spread it out. And tilt some more. All right, everybody, this should be your end result. Make sure you leave it dry for 24 hours. That way you can probably display it just like this one. Now I challenge you all to go ahead and recreate this wave using the paint and pour method. Until next time, bye.